हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ मिस नेहा फोपड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एम्बेडेड सिस्टम द बेसिक थिंग अबाउट एम्बेडेड सिस्टम व्हाट इज एम्बेडेड सिस्टम एंड व्हाट हाउ द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एम्बेडेड सिस्टम इज डन फर्स्ट नाउ बेसिकली एम्बेडेड सिस्टम इज नथिंग बट इट इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैकेनिकल सिस्टम विच विच इज यूज टू परफॉर्म द स्पेसिफिक tasks in simple terms if i tell you the embedded system is nothing but a combination of hardware and software that performs the specific tasks or the allocated tasks now what coming to the hardware of the embedded system the hardware that embedded system may have is the microprocessor microcontroller then the memory the input output devices etc the next we are the uh, uh, software the embedded system may have is the operating system or you can it also called as the firmware where the code or the instructions are to be stored now uh, classification of embedded system embedded system is been classified in basically into two groups that is based on generation and based on capacity and performance based on generation again it has been classified into the four uh, generation that is first second third and fourth in first generation the embedded systems that are designed are designed using 4 bit to 8 bit microprocessors and the firmwares are written by using the assembly language that is also called as the low level language next in the second generation the embedded systems are developed by using the 4 bit microprocessor or 4 bit microcontroller here still the embedded system are developed or the codes are written uh, application codes are written by using the assembly language in the third generation the uh, 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 embedded systems are developed by using the uh, micro microcontroller of 16 bit to 32 bit but here the firmwares are written by using the high level languages like c++ python or java next the fourth generation here the my embedded systems are developed by using the hardwares or the microcontroller of 64 bits or more than two more than one microcontrollers may be used the, uh, here the firmwares are uh, developed by using the high level languages now talking about the capacity and performance of the embedded system again they are classified into the three uh, scales that is the small scale medium scale and the large scale in the small scale embedded system the are very small or we can say the hardware connection is not that complex it is easy to understand here the performance are need, need not be critical the we can say the remote control car or our uh, smart watches comes under the small scale embedded system talking about medium scale embedded system here the circuit connection is slightly difficult than the small scale but not as the large scale embedded system it is easy to understand but we require an expert opinion for an um, uh, medium scale embedded system here the application code Uh, or the uh, it is uh, the the performance of this medium scale embedded system need to be critical if e even a delay of some few seconds or even a delay of second is tolerable the examples of medium scale embedded systems are our atm machine then our ac smart acs then our refrigerators last the uh, large scale embedded system in large scale embedded system the circuit connection is very much difficult it can may it the connections are made using more than one microcontroller it may have multiple microcontrollers used but talking about the performance performance has to be critical response time has to be quick because even the delay of 1 second is not tolerable the examples of large scale embedded system are flight control systems then airbag system where the delay of a second is not acceptable thank you